You know, we travel these new modern interstates and highways all across these mountains, all across the country, and take it for granted. And we cross these new modern bridges across these rivers, lakeways, across these mountains, across these Appalachians, and we take that for granted. But do you ever think of what they used to do back when they first come in this old country? Oh, they had it the hard way. They forged the river. And a lot of times they just, you know, wade across. But some places is way too deep in some of these rivers. So they would go for miles to find a forging crossing area that wasn't too deep for their wagons, supplies, and horses. And a lot of them had accidents. A lot of them died, too, during these crossings. But as time went on and they settled the country, they started setting up ferry crossings on these roadways from one point to another. And they had them all up and down these rivers back in them days. And some of them made a good living at it, too. You can see they just all types of people used these ferries. That was the only way across, only way to cross from one side to the other. And as time went on, technology started coming along and they started having automobiles and stuff like that. And they still used these ferries. They had no choice. There was no bridge. So as time went on, technology the state and the county and the communities would start setting up these little old bridges. Little old steel truss bridges. All up and down these rivers in East Tennessee, Appalachians, Virginia, all up and down West Virginia. This is how they started. This is about what they look like. Old steel trusses put together by rivets. And it was high maintenance too, because they had to paint them, keep the rivets up, inspect them all the time to keep them safe. Some were bigger than others, some were small. Most were just like this in these little old communities. You had to wait your turn to get on the bridge, going one way or the other. And as time went on, some of them got in really bad shape. They wouldn't keep up just about, you risk your life crossing some of them. So they had to shut them down and they tried to build new ones. But in the early 30s, TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority, started building dams across all these Tennessee rivers to make electricity and control the flooding problem. So they tore down all the bridges. They only built a few back here and there, the major highways and crossings across these rivers. This is what some of them look like. They did, they tore most of them down and only built a fraction of them back. So that isolated a lot of communities. And yes, they still a lot of little communities in the smaller creeks and stuff. They used to have stuff like this covered bridges. And they're still around but there are not many around like they used to be. Most of them look like this, if you can find one at all. As time went by, the roads improved and they bypassed them. A lot of them just collapsed. They tore them down. As time went by, that's a thing of the past. But here, outside of Sevierville, Tennessee, and called Harrisburg, they maintain one that's still in good shape, and they take care of it really great. Here it is. I visited it about a year ago. Harrisburg Bridge. It was started in 1875, and it was restored in 1972. The community got together and rebuilt it. And I got the privilege of riding across it, listening to the old boards climb drove across this thing, a beautiful old bridge. So they still around, but they're very hard to view between. And yes, the old ferries are all but gone. 
This is the only one I know of in the state of Tennessee that still operate. This is Ham's Ferry in Union County, Tennessee, on Norse Lake on the Powell River side. It connects the county from the north to the south. And here's what she looks like. I never could get to ride on it because I never could catch it running. It does operate, but a lot of times it's down. I never could catch it operate. But there it is. And yes, the old expansion bridges, they're all but gone. There's a few in places here and there, but not on the major fairways. They're all gone, all tore down, rebuilt. You got modern bridges like this now. This is the old Highway 33 bridge, the newest version. They completed it in 2006. Ain't she beautiful? So there you go. That's just a brief history on how the old people in this country used to cross these waterways and rivers before they was lakes. So I want to thank you for watching. God bless every one of you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.